One of my favorite moments this year on the show was with Gary Marcus. Gary is a huge critic of the scaling approach which is being used by OpenAI. And he proposes that the solution is neurosymbolic AI. What I wanted to ask Gary was, how do you scale this? There's no point proposing a solution if you can't transfer it to reality. It's so much easier to build a large language model than to put in the hard work to do the things that I'm talking about. Um, and the only project where somebody did this cost maybe $100 million, which seems small compared to the amount of money thrown around now, but still seems kind of big, and nobody kind of has had the appetite um, to do it. There's, there's a lot of hard work. As you know, it's relatively straightforward what it means to scale a large language model. I just get more data and I throw it at it. We need to make discoveries about how we're going to do this for these alternative architectures. We don't really know. You know, it's such a good question because it's one we don't know the answer to. Like, um, you know, most of the things you ask me, I kind of know. Um, and that one, I don't. I know some of the places that we can look, but that's where we need to do the science. You know, an analogy I would make is like in the age of alchemy, people had some good intuitions that you could kind of take different chemicals and put them together and do cool stuff. But they didn't know which is which. They didn't know that if you actually wanted to make lead into gold, you were going to you know, need massive amounts of energy and, and so forth. Like, they didn't understand it, but they had you know, learned certain things that work, and they were missing certain things. They had not invented the periodic table that organized all of it. We're kind of like in the age of alchemy for AI. Like People try some stuff. Some of it works. Some of it doesn't. They don't tell you about the stuff that didn't, and they get a little bit better. But what we're doing is not very principled. And we're going to have to invent things. We're going to have to make some new scientific discoveries in order to answer your question. How are you going to take a different approach and make it at scale? Gary made a pretty strong case for neurosymbolic AI, but anyone can come up with a solution. It's actually harder to scale it, implement it, and get people to listen to you.